Hey y'all, this dish uses my favorite quick way to cook chicken, making tenders. Cutting the chicken into tenders allows them to cook much more quickly than if you left the chicken breast whole. And I find that the flavor is better because more of the surface of the chicken has been exposed to the heat and therefore you get more Maillard reaction. Add a little butter to the mix and you'll get even more. Though, only do that if your body can handle it. You'll see that this recipe doesn't necessarily use any, but it still tastes great. Let's get cooking. Start by heating some olive oil in a pan over a medium low flame. Then heat a little more oil in another pan over a medium low flame. Put the chicken tenders in one pan, being careful of the hot oil and making sure not to overcrowd the pan. Sprinkle with salt and pepper. Let the tenders cook for five minutes, then flip over and cook for another five minutes. You will know they are done when they aren't pink in the middle and the juices run clear. I typically cut the biggest tender across the fattest part to check, then turn off the heat. While the tenders are cooking, add the kale and a pinch of salt to the other pan with oil and cover. Cook for five to 10 minutes or until wilted to your liking. Once wilted, turn off the heat. While the tenders and the kale are cooking, mix the vinegar, lemon juice, and water in a saucepan. Add the red onions and apples bring to a boil. Add a little salt and pepper, pour in the quarter cup of olive oil and let it simmer for a minute or so. Turn off the heat. When the kale is done cooking, add the contents from the saucepan to it and mix everything together. Place some of the kale mixture on a plate. Top with a couple chicken tenders and spoon a little sauce on top. Enjoy.